Welcome back to another episode of Six Shooter TV. My name is Tyler and as you can see we are out at the range today. It's been a very long time since I have been on camera at the range. And not only on camera but off camera too. I, I, it just seems like I don't have time to go to the range anymore. I'm working on a couple side projects and uh, just working and uh, the new house and everything like that. So it's just been hard for me to get out here but no more excuses. Uh, that's it come back out here and today we're just doing a little 1022 ruger 1022 probably hands down the most famous 22 there is i should say uh and nothing really too fancy about this one it's just got some normal iron sights uh which i don't even know you can sight in elevation i don't think we i ever have sighted this one in uh this one's been sitting in the safe for mm, probably a little over a year now maybe two years and I shot it maybe one other time. I haven't really shot it much though. Synthetic stock. I don't know the length of the barrel off the top of my head, but you guys will see all that in the review video. Other than that, I got a few targets downrange. They are 50 yards downrange, and we are gonna be shooting the Remington 22 Golden Bullets out of this thing today. I brought 100 rounds with me. I only have one mag, which is a little 10 round magazine, and it is, of course, uh, semi-automatic, so I plan on doing a lot of reloading. So let's see if we can put some on target for you guys. So, um, unfortunately, I don't know if I put a single one on target. Uh, I would thought that it would have been more audible with the metal targets down there. So, uh, maybe I just didn't, didn't do a single one. I'm not positive. We'll load 10 more and see how it goes. All right, we're much closer. Um, hopefully, you might be able to hear it now. Let's see. for sure hit that first one that was loud it knocked the target down so that may have been uh quite a bit more noise but uh, I'm, I'm not sure if i hit the other ones i would think that it'd be louder but maybe these 22s are just uh quiet i've never shot these uh this actual brand of 22 at a steel target before so that could be part of the reason one thing i know that they do make for these little 10 22s is uh, like 30 round magazines and after shooting this today on video, I would definitely like to invest in one of those because you go through a lot of ammo, of course, being a uh, semi-automatic. So a 30 round would be better as far as uh, I feel like on camera because then I could do more shooting of the actual gun and less reloading. So I'm happy with these little 10 rounds. Obviously, they tuck up in there really nice versus a 30 round. And then... Uh, the other thing too is it kind of slows you down and you know like i said helps you burn through less ammo of course when you're not shooting a youtube video okay so i think i just figured out maybe why i'm not hitting targets all right now that it's focused oh shoot we're gonna lose focus there gotta leave my hand there uh look at that that's probably why i'm not hitting anything uh the windage adjustment is adjusted way to the left so maybe i wasn't hitting anything uh, unfortunately, it looks like I can just push it over with my hand, but I don't have any way to uh, to hold it in place. All right, so I got it moved over as far as I could. You guys can see that's way more center, but you can still see there's a gap on that side and a little overhang on that side. So that's something I'll definitely have to work on. I plan on getting a scope for this anyway someday. Uh, hopefully the elevation's not too set too far low. It looks like it is set a little different than stock, but let's see if we can actually hit some targets now. Well, now we can hear it hitting targets. I would say let's just go ahead and move back to 50. Maybe I'll shoot a few more here at the, the 20 to 25 yard range uh, and see how that goes. But um, I am aiming extremely far left and down to be able to hit those targets. So uh, yeah, let's try to put 10 more on for you.
All right, now you can see we're back on target. That was maybe like eight or nine out of 10. Um, wow, I'm embarrassed. Uh, you guys know me, I put my misses in, in the videos. I know some people out there don't like to show that kind of stuff and they edit that part out. I'm gonna put all my misses in, even if I did miss the first 20 or 30 rounds. Uh, I feel like that's not really my fault, you know, that's, the, that's on the gun, but uh, yeah, the sight already moved back over during shooting, so uh, this is gonna definitely need some work before we can actually put some more on target. But let's move back to 50 and see if we can hit something from there. All right, I did a little bit more adjusting on that sight. You can see it's pretty much centered now at this point. Um, we'll give it another go and see if we can hit something. I'm gonna start in the center of the target, and then I'll adjust if I need to adjust for basically windage, even though the sight's out, but we'll give this a try here. Okay, so it looks like we got the sight. It didn't move, that's good. Um, it looks like we got the sight centered. And uh, at this point, I'd use my knife to, to press it back in. I didn't open the blade or anything, but I just used the outside of the knife shell uh, to, to put it back in. And it kind of clicked into place, which is good. Um, anyways, but it looks like the height uh, or the uh, elevation is still uh, pretty far out. I'm aiming uh, maybe about six inches uh, to a foot below the target. So I'll get that a little bit more dialed in and see if I can uh, and see if I can start hitting the target better. This time I'm using my truck and my range back to see if I can hit my targets a little bit better uh, just by using some extra stability. All right, uh, didn't shoot very good on that one. Still just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be aiming that. Uh, rear sight is, is still very far off. Miss. 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 Hit. Hit. Miss. Miss. I can't tell. <laughs> I thought I heard something on that one. Hit. Hit. I think we're out. Oh yeah. All right, same thing again here. See if we can just put a few more on target. Out. Not bad. We're getting better. Still aiming very low. Um, I'll have to definitely revisit this gun when, uh, like, make another video on it. And the reason I want to do that is um, I'll put a scope on it and just leave, probably leave the irons on, but just put a scope on and, uh, you know, show you how much more lethal these guns can be with a scope on it. These next few five, I'm going to um, try to put on target all the same target and I'm just gonna try to shoot these five as fast as possible and see how many I get is on target and by as fast as possible not as fast as I can 
pull the trigger, but just uh, get back on target and try to hit. So uh, probably won't be good just because this, uh, this damn sights are so far out. But so many excuses in this video. I feel like I'm just nonstop excuses. All right, here we go. So I think I heard like two out of five. Um, I lost the front sight on that one, to be honest. Uh, on this on this third shot, I lost the front sight. And on the fifth shot, I lost it again. So, um, I don't know. Fun little gun. I definitely want to redo another video on this, that's for sure. All right, I ended the video already, but also, like, this is ridiculous, you guys. Clean up your damn range. Uh, I'm, I'm sick of seeing all this trash out here. Uh, you know, this is how things like uh, these outdoor ranges where you don't have to come pay or anything, you can just drive up to. Nice little private session, get shut down. Uh, one day they'll be gated up. So look at, look at all this trash, it's disgusting. Clean it up, all you have to do is pick up after yourself and there's not gonna be a single bit of trash up here. So clean up your range.